What's up everyone, it's Ruby here, bringing you guys another video. First of all, Merry Christmas Eve. Second of all, I have figured out a way to make a Mass Effect animated universe. But let's start where it all began in my head. So. Here's my pitch. The first show would focus on Arya Talok and her rise to taking over Omega and becoming the queen of Omega. We know the story, but we don't know the specifics. And that's where an animated universe, an animated show, could really take place. But there are hundreds of stories that come out of an animated universe, out of Mass Effect, right? Because while thinking of the Arya Talok show, there's also, hello, the Leviathan that we know nothing about. And then on top of that, we have the Protheans, which we know almost nothing about. We have so many stories that are left untold that could, that would require a cinematic animated universe to tell it. It doesn't have to be cinematic. Ignore the cinematic part. But a genuine animated universe revolving around Mass Effect would be absolutely perfect because while you could have one singular show revolving around these stories i feel like each show kind of needs to be encapsulated in itself so that it doesn't get like um confusing or watered down or rushed or anything because each story deserves to be given its chance to tell i would think about partnering with an animated studio that really knows how to tell these stories has that experience with telling them and initially i was thinking you know we could go for trigger but i think trigger would not be the right fit because we're looking at potentially multiple seasons multiple um shows being made and Trigger is really only a one show, one season kind of person. They don't really, well, studio, not person. They don't really do multiple seasons, let alone multiple shows around the same concepts. They like to diversify their profile, their portfolio. And that's fine, that's fine. But there are so many different, either Japanese animated or uh, American animated studios that could very well make that series happen. I mean, right now, Netflix has all of those shows with Dragon Age and uh, Arcane and um, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, And I think the next one has to be Mass Effect. Well, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be because I think there's other shows that are coming as well. But a Mass Effect animated universe is so important because there are so many stories that we kind of know but we don't really we don't have the the, the stories like fleshed out really and there's always a debate about like when it should take place what it should be about who should be in it whether shepherd should be female or male and so on and i have the key to answer that question without it compromising the game stories and the answer is to make it all connected to the game universe. So, instead of telling a story about Shepard or about her companions, or specifically about um, the ones that are within that universe, we would simply not include Shepard and all of these stories would be about kind of leading up to Mass Effect or happening in between Mass Effect 
But none of it would be at a point where it's being the story is being affected itself. Because we don't want to kind of impose our biased beliefs, whether it be saving Ashley, saving Caden, whether it be uh, choosing destroy ending, choosing synthesis endings, choosing control ending, um, annihilating the the Rachni, whatever it is, we don't want to impose our opinions of what should have happened because that would defeat the purpose of including the players you would be you would be excluding players no matter what even those who ended up romancing jacob <sighs> so the answer would be to have it revolt so each story would kind of revolve around this Mass Effect universe without it being about Mass Effect, the game series. You could tell a story about James. You could have him kind of tell his story. I know, I think his is a comic book. Um, but you could bring that comic book to life, sure. Because that, that one is not interactive. It's not choice-based. It just happened. So you could tell a story animated and do that. You could also tell Samara's story about what it was like to raise Art Yakshi. You could tell Kasumi's story about Kasumi and Ke Keiji and their adventures together and leading up to his death. You could tell the story about Jack Zero. Subject Zero. It would be an amazing, heartbreaking story about Jack and what it was like for her to be constantly studying. I mean, we heard it a little bit from Jack. But we... But there are still pieces kind of missing that could be easily filled in by an animated universe. Now, let's say... Let's say we don't really want to fill in those gaps because people have their own headcanons. That's fine. We don't necessarily have to tell those stories, although I still think they would be interesting. What I would do... I would start... From the very beginning, telling Leviathan's story. This is how, well, this is what it was like to be the Leviathan. The dominating universe, and then suddenly they made these machines, and suddenly the machines rebelled. That would be an amazing series, animated series. And then afterwards, we have the Prothean. The Prothean are just kind of thriving. We see the, the, the sorry, the, the Salarians, the human beings that are all, like, not evolved yet. That would be very interesting to kind of see what it was like before what we know them as, what we know them as. And so it would be very interesting to see the Prothes kind of interacting with those species without knowing what they will become in the future. And then after that, we could go into like the first contact war. We go into Anderson's childhood. We could go to Hackett's childhood. We could tell so many of the stories all around this, the Mass Effect universe without even touching the actual universe itself. And all of it would make the games even more compelling to tell, to, to play. Because suddenly, our game playing our game is connected to all of these stories and now we have kind of a better understanding of who Ari is of who Jarek is of who Samara is of who Kasumi is and why we should care about them we could tell a whole story about Zaid and then all after all of that after all of that is told we could potentially do a what if story Kind of showing like what the, these universes would be, including the different choices of a massive universe, of a, of a mass of, of massive gameplay being included, the playthrough being included, whatever. Or we could just not do that, because I'm sure in the next massive game, a lot of our questions are going to be answered. I'm sure of that. So we don't need it to be answered in an animated series. The point 
is that Massive Into Universe telling all these kind of stories that haven't really been told that we only know from the codex or from 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 dialogue brief dialogue i think filling in those gaps kind of showing and we don't even have to do it in chronological order we, we don't have to do that we could start with uh doing aria and and, and nirene and kind of seeing where that goes because i'm sure that one would be that one would definitely be successful and then we could go like backwards, like we could go from Arya to to the Leviathan to the Re whatever you want to do. We could do so many things with a massive cinematic universe that I feel like it would be criminal not to do it. But what do you think? What would you want to see in a massive animated universe? Comment down below. Leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this. I hope to see you guys in the future and peace out guys. It's been a blast. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.